here we have a red kangaroo quite a big fella but they're just in a kangaroo rest area they're just chilling out chilling out he was actually having a sleep but unfortunately I sneezed just before and uh, woke the whole family up and I was just having a scrat life's hard really not sure what that kangaroo was doing and don't really think I want to know I think it's about 38 degrees today so you can sort of understand why they chilled and just doing nothing I guess if I didn't have to go sightseeing that's what I would be doing chilling with a can of fosters I think I've got a friend this guy just seems to be following me there you go, another good scratch oh, they're all coming out now This is a big one, quite seriously big. I wouldn't like to get in a fight with this fella. I guess the best thing is make sure you don't get near his, his wife or his baby. So here we'll have Lynn with a bush hat on and I think she's found a new mate one thing for sure, she doesn't stroke my hair like that especially if I took the clip, I still have not much left to stroke then the next time the kangaroo puts her head in the trough do you think you can do the same? I'll get a picture of you both with your head in the trough maybe not Yes, very, very thirsty. It's hard work, this. Entertaining the tourists. And then... Here we have a few kangaroos. And the one right in front of us, which is uh, giving itself a good clean, if we just look in its pouch, we have a joy. You can see the ear there. Two legs and the tail. Oh, wait a second. It nearly looks like the head might be coming out. Whoa! Just coming out. One ear. And the next ear. Two ears are out. Yeah, I saw My phone doesn't want to cooperate. Yeah. Pretty cool place to be, yeah. And here we have Paul and his new friend. I think it's a wallaby rather than a kangaroo. But um, he's looking well, a little bit unsure. He's looking at his mates who are over to my right. I think he thinks he's that guy with the dodgy Panama hat. But um, he's, he's pretty relaxed about it. Oh, there he is standing up on his hind legs. You can get an idea of how tall he is, although he's by no means the biggest one we've seen. Uh, yes, it is a wallaby, not a kangaroo. I'm now an expert, of course. Paul's got a big smile on his face, but um, as I say, I don't think the wallabies like the Panama hat. I much prefer my Australian bush hat. So it's goodbye from me, and it's good for 